Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Sportsman's Warehouse and the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And I actually think uh, this talking is doing really well for my voice. I'm not sure about my rest of my body, but uh, I have my backup <laughs> over there working in the bullpen if I don't wear him out. Uh, you you recognize you're, the, you're going to make it. Uh, I'm going to fine. make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make That's it. That's right. I keep, That's I right. Keep telling myself, it was in, where's that? There's that cough button. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, where's that cough drop? There it is. Hey, you hey, don't need hey, it. You don't need it. Hey, hey, let's talk a little bit about. Uh, you know, we've talked to Todd Castledine earlier uh, about his career and the things he's going to do in 2020. Uh, the the place and Ron has just mentioned that as before we went on the air. I'm really happy that uh, that uh, Leo Thomas of Bolt Strategies uh, put me on uh, to Wired to Fish. I have been uh, a, a frequent visitor. Uh, I can say I'm one of the uh, seven million or whatever millions that uh, you will know, go to that I, site. And I just asked Ron. I just heard a thing on the news uh, yesterday, and he said, well, they already had it on. <laughs> I think they had it on before it becomes well, happening. Well, but, I, uh, I will tell you um, – uh, they've got a Facebook page that keeps everybody up, all the social media, whether it's Instagram, yes, uh, Twitter. Uh, if you want to know information about fishing. Bass fishing, bass, mostly bass fishing. Where do you go to? Anything happening. So where the, do you go to for that information? Wired2fish.com. Well, why, why don't we go to that man right now who's the chief operating officer and uh, a guy that we've uh, talked to before, a longtime friend of Ron's and ours. It's Jason Sealock out of up in Kentucky. Good morning, Jason. Good morning. How are you all? We're doing much better than when we started. I don't know if it's uh, just uh, Wong's uh, cheerful attitude or, uh, hey, or, or Shelby McCall, our show producer, yawning. It's just given me so much inspiration here to finish this show. Let's let's talk, uh, Jason. When I got the information uh, from Leah about uh, Wired to Fish, I've been wanting to get uh, – you guys own for a long time because uh, it's been a success story. So before we get into some talk about what's going on now, give us a little history of Wired to Fish and uh, exactly uh, what it is and, uh, and and the purpose you guys have. Yeah, so it started back in 2008. Um, Terry Brown uh, used to be with Bass Fan. Yeah, that's him. Wanted, mm-hmm. Yep, wanted to keep doing what he was doing there, but kind of at a bigger scale and be, you know, more on uh, helping anglers with fishing. And so he they started Wired to Fish in 2008. I came on in 2010. I was previously the editor in chief for FLW Outdoors magazine. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so they needed help with content and uh, um, writing how to evergreen stuff to tutorials and shooting video and doing all that stuff so I came on board and they kind of gave me carte blanche to you know well, how would you do this if you were going to do it and so yeah we just started making fishing content that we would want to read and we would want to watch and you know hop in a boat with a guy and be like well what's that why do you do that and you know building content around the questions any good angler would ask another angler when he sees them having success so it's kind of been a, you know, it was, we toiled with it there for the first few years and then we started hitting a critical mass with social media. You know, I think when I started, we had like a thousand followers, and, you <laughs> know, we were lucky to get a thousand people on the site in a month. And, and now, now if we, yeah, yeah, now if we don't have a thousand people in the first 15 minutes of the day, we're kind of like, Oh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> amazing. <laughs> uh, really amazing. But you know that, uh, Jason, um, it is. Uh, it has a lot to do with the content that you guys put out about the bass fishing industry, and and people have grown accustomed, yeah, to looking at your stuff almost first from the standpoint of I need to know, and that's where I think you guys have really, really done so well in telling people how to do it, how do the pros do it, and what do the companies all of the fishing tackle companies recommend and i mean uh and the reviews that you have on whether it's a fishing lure or rod reel or anything else that's what people are looking for every day and you do it in a very succinct manner 
Uh, do you find that important now and how you present all of that information? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we, I mean, early on we were kind of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what stick, and, mm-hmm. you know, now we kind of <laughs> understand, you know, time is precious for people and, you know, you don't need to beat around the bush. You need to get to what they clicked on and, you know, make sure you're not being clickbaity with titles or anything. What you say that is in that video is in that video. What you say is in that article is in that article. And, you know, we appreciate every person that comes and reads or watches a video on our website. So we want to make sure when they come to the site, they're getting exactly what they expected and, and what will help them eventually on the water. So, so yeah, so- now we take that real seriously, even from the news standpoint, you know, we, we want to get it out as fast as possible, but we we'd rather err on the side of caution to make sure what we are checking the facts, factual. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we we'll, we'll get beat to the punch sometimes, but it's because we haven't spoken to the source yet to verify the information. So so it, what's you know, what's kind the, of pride ourselves on that? What's what's the staff here? Uh, Four hundred people. I mean, this this uh, <laughs> you wish, but tell us, no, tell us how to, tell us how you do this. I, I'm, I'm interested <laughs> to know. Yeah, no, I I'm fortunate to work with such an amazing group of guys. There's there's really only uh, seven of us that make content. Amazing. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that keeps us hopping uh, a lot of seven you know seven days a week, all hours of the night, and uh, traveling like crazy. We. I mean, last week I was in Louisiana, and um, we had three guys in Florida, and, you know, of course, we're spread out all over the place. Terry's in Illinois, and Walker's in Georgia, and so we're mm-hmm. we're always somewhere doing something, shooting content, so, but that's good, because obviously we touch people all over the world, all over the country, and we want to make fishing content that means something to them, you know, what, you know, writing about something in Minnesota maybe doesn't resonate is great with someone in florida so you know we go to florida and shoot we go to texas and shoot we go to louisiana and north carolina and so we're everywhere well we're talking to jason sealock he's the chief operating officer for our good friends at wire to fish and uh, the press release i got here from lynn uh, in 2019 wire to fish enjoyed seven million unique organic visitors consuming over 70 million pages of content up 93% from 2018. Yeah. I mean, you're laughing you know, we, at this, buddy, but, I mean, that's that's pretty <laughs> – that's mind-boggling. Yeah, I mean, we, we're we fortunate. We have a lot of people come to the website. We had 7 million on the website, and <laughs> we have one of the largest followings in social media. We have about 1.6 million followers on social media. There you go, Ron. So, that's what yeah. we was wondering. Yeah, 1.6 yeah. million on social yeah. media. And, uh, and, you know, yep. Jason, on, on your website, um, you have certain at, things I'm looking that, at that people yeah. look at. Um, uh, tell our listeners, for example, you have tackle reviews. You have giveaways. You have some great giveaways. Yeah, they do. Tips. Yes. But what are some of the big, broad categories that you have that people can just look at time over time over time? Um and what are some of your big categories there? Yeah, so, I mean, obviously the majority of what we're trying to do is produce evergreen fishing tips that will mm-hmm. help you when you go on the water. So, and yeah. we do it, we have seasonality to it. So, if you want to come in, it's it's winter time and you're yep. wondering how to catch bass in the winter, we have a whole library of winter articles and, mm-hmm. and you know, or videos, a combination of both. And um, if you're wanting to buy a new fishing reel and you're not sure which ones are good or not, you know, we've reviewed, you know, dozens of fishing reels and yeah. we try to stay current on what's on the market. And, and that's the thing we get beat up. Sometimes people will be like, well, I never hear you dog a product. And it's like, well, we get, we see or put our <laughs> hands on about yeah. 5,000 products a year. Yes. We're only going to do 200 reviews. So if it's on the website, it's good. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I mean, I, you I can only website, do so much so. too. Yeah. And you right. look, I'm looking right. at, I'm looking at it right now on soft bait, strike King squadron head rage, uh, swimmers review nine hours ago by you. Uh, right. uh and so these, yep, and I was, yeah, I was down with Todd Castledine throwing that. I gave him a plug in that article because he's kind of the person that turned me on to that combo. That's why but I wanted to bring. We that. were in Louisiana last week shooting yeah. together, so yeah, it, I, that, that was just a. We didn't plan it like that. I want you to know that, Jason. This is a we're not right. we're not smart enough to do that. But, yeah. uh, uh, but and you know, wired to fish now, Jason. 
Uh, at one time, uh, people just thought it was for the bass fishing industry, but you guys have really gone out. You're going getting into crappie fishing, yeah. Some ice fishing. Um, uh, where where are you guys going? <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, we're all very avid fishermen. Obviously, yeah. a, a good portion of our group is in Minnesota, and so ice fishing is a big deal in the winter there, so it's mm-hmm. natural to do ice fishing content. But, no, I meet up with crappie fishing. I kind of take a break from bass fishing in the fall and some into the winter, and I'll I'll pretty much spend all of my time chasing crappie around and yeah, love to use electronics. So we started doing some of that content and it, it was a huge success. So now we're like, yeah, that's gotta be a part, you know, a regular part of our rotation just because people are really looking for that content, enjoy the content we've made around that. So, I mean, you know, it'll stay focused those are, around bass and crappie, but those um, are industries you know, that are growing very well too. I mean, right, right. I mean, and we, we, we just started getting into the kayak segment. That's yeah, a huge, that's huge. huge segment in fishing. Yeah. So yeah. But I know you also have breaking news because I noticed on Thursday morning when I get up and I see the uh, the elite event uh, on the St. John's River uh, postponed. They're going to finish on this Monday, uh, you know, and I see, wow, there it is, Wired to Fish. You got it on mm-hmm. there, you know, uh, <laughs> within three hours of the announcement. So uh, uh, you guys, uh, you may have seven people, but I think uh, you got 12 or 15 arms on each one of you. Because uh, <laughs> it it seems like that that you're doing that kind of stuff, but uh, I, you know, Ron, I, I'm I'm glad to get him on here because it kind of explains a little bit, and you you know Jason better than I do, and know this he's making it sounds almost simple like, but this and you know nothing <laughs> simple about what they do, and one of the things that I have learned over the years is is that Wired to Fish does a very good job. And presenting the news. That's like, what I was like talking about. what Jason was talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. They want to vet it out before they put it out. And also, I think, and we we got to let you get out of here, Jason. But I, I think you, y'all you were at the right time, at the right place. I mean, uh, you know, your idea in 2010, I, I know 10 years ago doesn't sound very long. But, you know, this industry changes in 24 hours. And so uh, sure. you yeah. guys uh, had that, and, uh, you know, this was something Bobby said, this ain't going to work. But uh, <laughs> I, my, my my hat's off to you and all the folks up there. And, Ron, I know we'll say the same thing. Uh, we point a lot of people on Outdoors Delay Ray too wired to fish simply because, uh, you know, I have a great, a great website, and I feel like that we've got more information about the Mid-South on our website than any other place here. But you guys are global. So thank you, buddy, for taking time. Uh, you've even improved my voice. And Ron uh, wants to say one more thing before Just we let you go. Just one thing, uh, Jason. If somebody wants to follow you, uh, good, good deal. what's the website address and social media address? Yeah, you can uh, uh, wiredtofish.com. It's wired, the number two, fish.com. Um, that's our website. And then, you, you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, um, Instagram, we're wired to fish official because somebody already had the wired to fish moniker on Instagram. <laughs> <Okay>. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but all the rest of them just wired to fish on those platforms. Hey, you but, got a chance so, to win some so. prizes. These guys give away some good Excellent stuff. Prizes. Hey, Jason, thank you for being with us on this Saturday morning. Uh, we'll stay in touch. Okay. Great. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you. Jason C. Like, right, we're going to take a break, come back and, uh, the show's going to the dogs. Uh, this, all right. Uh, this, this is, is a great uh, segment. All right, I'm getting ready to give Ron the list of uh, nominees <laughs> for the National Bird Dog Championship, and he's going to pick his winner, and I'll pick mine. And while the, you're talking to, to Rick over Carlisle, the next sec- uh, segment, yeah, I will be doing research. You will be right back. Mm-hmm.